Well, good morning and happy Easter. It's been the ancient call and response of the church. When the pastor says he has risen, the congregation responds, he has risen indeed. So let's practice that because you're going to do it today a bunch. He He is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen. Amen. I've been looking forward to saying those words with you for nine full months now, and I'm just so thankful that we are here on Easter Sunday to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord, and with that, our salvation. Amen. Amen. And I can't think of a better spot to be able to show you the power of the resurrection or its meaning than right here in the baptistry. This baptistry is full of importance to us, to significance to our faith. It is a living symbol of what we believe about Jesus Christ, what we profess he came to to do for us, and its lasting effect upon our lives and the hope that it gives for eternal salvation. Let me just remind you, as I do every time that we celebrate uh, baptism together, it was Charles Spurgeon who said it well. Jesus Christ did not come to make bad men good or good men better. He came to make dead men live. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that before he ascended into heaven, Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always even to the end of the world. Church, it it is in obedience to that command that we baptize today. There's no magic in these waters. It does not wash away sin. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can do that. The water's significance is in what it symbolizes. Death, burial, and resurrection. Before a person becomes a Christian, he or she is dead in sin. When a person is dead, they are buried. The water represents a grave. And as a person is lowered into the water, it symbolizes that they are being buried. And a person who becomes a Christian receives new life in Jesus Christ. The person being lifted up out of the water symbolizes being raised to walk in newness of life. Baptism, then, is a way of proclaiming to the world what happens to us when we become followers of Jesus Christ. Having said that, it is my unique privilege to be able to introduce you to these two young ladies, these two young but very mature new believers who have given their hearts to Christ, who have accepted him by faith, and who are looking forward to an eternal dwelling, not made with the hands of men, but made for them by God himself. First, I want to introduce you to is, is Karen Bauer. Karen, come on down here, sweetie. Karen, I know you have a couple people that you know down there, don't you? Can, you? can you see them? Can you see them out there? You know what? Everybody out there is so proud of you today. Everybody out there celebrates with you this decision. Uh, as I talked to you about before, you know, we celebrate uh, birthdays, don't we? But this is a special kind of birthday because Jesus says you must be born again. This is the celebration of newness of life, and I'm so glad that you chose Easter Sunday uh, to allow us to celebrate your baptism with you. So Karen, let me ask you, like I've asked you before, do you take Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Do you take God as your Father? Do you take the Holy Spirit as your God? Do you do so freely, completely, and forever? Well, Karen, upon your profession of faith in Jesus as Lord, I baptize you, my little sister, In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in his likeness, arise and walk in newness of life. Amen. Victoria, come on down here and join me. Now, this is Victoria Morrison. And you've got some friends and family out there too, don't you? Can you see them out there? 
Well, they're here celebrating this with you because this is the most monumental thing that will happen in your life. It defines everything else that will ever happen to you in this life. And Victoria, let me ask you like I've asked you before. Do you take Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. Do you take God as your Father? Yes, sir. Do you take the Holy Spirit as your God? Yes, sir. Do you do so completely, freely, and forever? Yes, sir. Well, Victoria, upon your profession of faith in Jesus as Lord, I baptize you, my little sister, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in his likeness. Arise and walk in newness of life. Well, church, we recognize that our responsibility to these young ladies does not end today. This is just the beginning. So, church, would you rise with me and receive this charge? Do you, members of First Baptist Church of Nederland, Texas, with all that you have and with all that you are, endeavor to bring these disciples up in the, in the grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ so that they too may make disciples of the world that they will inherit? If you do, say amen. 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 Brother Allen, lead us in our worship.